Oh, hello there. I'm Bilchanda Cooper. Hey there. I may not be as cute as Teacher Bilchan, but I'm still a cute Benimacum. <laughs> that somehow sounds like the opposite. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Uh. By the way, Teacher Bill Chen. What is it, Nimikon? Last time, you said that a solution to an equation is the value of x that makes the original equation true. Right. Yes, that's correct. The value of x that makes the equation true is called it solution. So, when solving this equation, why can we find the value of x that makes the original equation true? By using common steps like moving 2 to the other side, moving 3x to the other side, and dividing by the coefficient of x, which is 2. Well, let's think about that together today. To give you the conclusion first, the reason we can find the solution to this equation that is the value of x that makes the original equation true using this method is because we're transforming the equation in such a way that the value of x that makes the true doesn't change. You mean these four equations have the same value of x that makes them true? Yes, that's right. Oh, huh. why? Because we're transforming them that way. Oh, so it's meaningless to transform it in a way that changes the solution? Exactly. So we transform it without changing the solution. And when it finally becomes this equation, obviously the only value of x that equals 3 is 3. So. Oh, I get it. So the solution to this equation is 3. And because this equation and the original equation have the same solution, we know the original equation's solution is 3. Yes, you got it. I see, so these equations are like shadow clones of ninja. Exactly. We keep making clones. Worsh. <laughs> I want we find one like this expression. Where the solution is easy to find. Then we know the original equation's solution. So to be able to create the clone like this. We keep making clones. That's the basic strategy for solving equations and finding solutions. Ending. Ah. <laughs> uh.